You know, we talked about four zones where the candidates came from. We didn't mention the two zones that no candidate is from. Mm. And that's part of the big difference. Yeah. Because in those two zones, where no, which is no candidate's home zone, the breakdown shows that in the south-south, Peter B is way ahead. And in the north central, where, where in September, in the north central, Peter B was at 16% along with, us, with, with, with Bola Ahmed Tinubu. In the north central, Peter B has moved from 16% to 24%. Bola Tinubu has lost ground in the North Central. Again, people can have their theories that that, center, that zone worries about religion and Muslim, Muslim tickets. Hey, that's, those are all theories. The numbers just show that Pitobi, for whatever reason, has moved it's ahead moved, yeah. in the North Central. Now, in, this, in the same North Central, um, Atiku Abu Bakr is running third. You follow me? Yeah. It's only third, but just, but just slightly be, be below Bola Tinubu. By just a percentage. Yeah. So that's the North Central. And then the South South, which is another zone which, which, which they are all not from, the four candidates. In the South South, P2B was at 46% in September, and he's still at the same exact 46%. In fact, no movement whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So he has not gained traction, he's not lost traction. Have the opponents gained traction? Some of them have. Bola Tinubu? has moved from 2% in the South-South to 9%. Atuk Abu Bakr, a number show in the South-South, has lost some ground from 6% down to 3%. And, uh, and uh, Kwan Kwan so stayed at his, at his 1%. Mm. Again, if you look at that result, you might say, hmm, why would Atuk Abu Bakr not do so well in the South-South? But actually, it's not 